What is good guys, back with another smoke on snake draft game, this game with Trusco vs well you. You see some interesting rain from Trusco, um, there's probably a rocks, swampert and common clefable. I don't know if this would be offensive Celeste dealer, I would, yeah, I would guess it's just a bulky Celeste dealer. And then either Scarf Kelt or Scarf Lari and the other one of the two is the Z-move user. Uh, most of the time Scarf Lari, like Scarf Larias is more common, like you don't really see Larias used unless it's Mega or Scarf, but on this to me obviously already has Mega Swampert. So I'm guessing that this is Scarf Lally and Zemo of Keldeo. And on the other side, we do have most likely a sub protect DD Zaga with 1000 arrows because a toxic spikes on packs makes sense with this. And then probably Scarf Lando, defensive scissor to check stuff like Zygarde. Um, either Zemo of Coco or Zemo of Tren, but I would say Zemo of Coco. And then rocks on Tren. So well, you can just Mega Wolf in U turn here as Trosco switches into Steeler. Trosco, yeah, Trosco's play was either switching or getting up rocks with Pert. And now you can go into Heat Tren or Coco here. If he has rocks on Tren, I think he can get up his rocks here with Tren. But Coco is also completely fine. And I would guess that Coco is um, probably physical with U turn and Z Wild Charge, Roost, and Taunt. He could still have HPIs instead of Roost or Taunt. But yeah, I think that, that Trosco is just going to protect you to scout for the Tapu Coco set to see if it's um, specs or if it's physical. And well, you can. Um, Go for Volt Switch or U-Turn, depending on what he has. He does show U-Turn, so he can just U-Turn again here, because even if the Celesteela stays in, that's completely fine. He has a heat turn and he has a Pex to go out into, and if the switch from Trosco's side um, into uh, Swampert happens, then he gets momentum. So U-Turn was completely free there. I assume Trosco went for Leech Seed, as he misses on the Pex. That is a bit annoying for Trosco, but it doesn't really matter too much. As the Clefable or the Ladi should now come out on Scald. Uh, you don't want to stay in and let your Celestia get burned. Yeah, the Lottie comes out. Well, he doubles into Coco and... Well, he's just going to um, U-turn here or go hard into Scissor or Tren. I think U-turn is completely free for Well, you because like even if the Lottie Scarf Side Shock doesn't even do that much to Coco. Uh, so I assume Trosgo is going to switch out as he... Okay, he stays in. And we do see the Lottie is not Scarf. So I guess the Keldeo is then Scarf and the Lottie is maybe... The Z-move user. Uh, Trosgo is now going to go Scissor or Tren. I think Scissor is fine. Yeah. Scissor should be fine here. As we do see Psychic. And unless it's HP File, a lot it cannot touch the Scissor. Well, he is now going to U-turn again. He has him in the Vortex with the U-turn action. As I assume Trosgo is going to switch exactly in the Celestealer. Back into um, Coco, he can go now. <laughs> and he can just spam U turn because the Celestia is just not a threat to him. He can just spam U turn and eventually he will catch Trosco. Uh, Trosco will eventually go on a Swampert, predicting an electric move. So just spamming U turn is the play to make because eventually we will catch him exactly. And now he can go into his um, either Lando or Scizor. I guess Scizor is fine and just U turn again. There's no rain up, so Swampert is not going to be able to do much damage to the Scizor. As he does just go to Scissor, and he can just U-turn again here, as Trosco is either going to switch or get his rocks up. He could also, like, well, you could also Roost if he breaks the Swampert to attack, but I think he will just U-turn. There are the rocks, there is the U-turn, and now he can go into his uh, Lando, which should be Scarf. And yeah, the Zygarde is most likely a bulky variant with, um, I already said it earlier, sub DD protects thousand arrows. So you can, oh, we do see it's not Scarf Lando, he's leftovers. So, well, you can get up his own rocks here as the Swampert is at minus one. And it's, okay, we see it's probably bulky Lando. I'm a bit surprised by that. So I guess it could be Scarf Heater and then, so he's probably just going to get his rocks up here as the Pelipper comes out. And now he's going to go to Toxapex. This uh, could definitely be Specs Pelipper because he only has one Swift Swim Abuser. Protect is really nice for well, you to scout for what the Pelipper goes for. And now he can go into his Toxapex or his Coco. He would also go Heatran, I guess. So he doubles in the Keldeo, maybe predicting Heatran or Coco if he's Scarf. But he just went to Pex. Pex was completely free. So I think Trosco predicted the Tren or the Coco, but it didn't work for him because Pex. Um, not specs. Scarf Kelly in the rain could obviously beat Heatran and Coco, especially especially Coco. 
it obviously beats Trent even without rain. So he goes in the clef. And this clef could have thunder because it's in, this is a rain team. Uh, next, I'm pretty sure the, the Pelipper was specs because it showed Hurricane and then he doubled it out. But next turn when the rain ends we will have confirmed that it's not damp rock. So he goes for thunder hard and does absolutely nothing to spadef Pax. I mean Pax doesn't really beat clef but clef also doesn't beat Pax. Um, he has to call mine up and then a plus one thunder will do a good chunk to Pax but it still doesn't do enough. Or maybe Trosgo is going to fish for para. Uh, because if Pax gets para on um, on the turn but wants to go for haze if the Kaflabel comments up that could be bad for well used Pax. I assume Trosgo is now just going to go for call mind. As the, what does the Pax go for? Just Scald? Yeah, that, that's gonna do nothing as the Pax is gonna be forced to haze here as Thunder. Why did he comment again? I think he should have just Thundered there. Maybe he predicted him to switch into land on the Thunder. But I think he should have just attacked. I mean, Thunder only has like 16 PP, I think. So unless the Clef hexes the Pax, I think the Pax easily wins this one on one. I mean, he's eventually gonna run out of Scald. So like, Clefable doesn't. Like, both ones don't really beat each other. They're just sitting there. But this is definitely favorable for value, as you guys can see, plus one thunder did only 45. The Pax can go for recover here, as he comments up again. He could have also haste, predicting the comment, I guess. And now he's either gonna haste or go Lando on the thunder. Okay, like the Coco already showed U-turn, and I'm pretty sure that the Coco was physical with um, the wild charge. So he does switch out in the Lari. I'm seeing that his Cafable is not gonna accomplish much unless he gets crits. So now uh, Value is gonna switch into most likely Scizor, yeah. As do we see a Z move coming, we do see a Z move. So it's probably Shattered Psych or Draco, Z Draco. Shattered Psych does only 40%. So I'm pretty sure the Ladi cannot kill the Scizor. Maybe with Draco. Nah, even Draco wouldn't kill. Uh, so Value can go for Roost here or U turn. But I think Roost is fine because you want the Scizor healthy. Uh, Trosco is gonna switch to his. Celestealer or, or to his Keldeo, probably Celestealer. Unless he reveals the random hidden power fire, but I don't think he has that. <laughs> but yeah, overall this is looking um, heavily in Value's favor. Like um, Zim of Coco is also a huge threat to Trosgo's team. Um, Cause like Zim of Coco almost Oko's Clef. It has an 18% chance to Oko Clef from full. So if he gets a little bit of chip on Clef, then he's almost guaranteed in range. And Trosco will have to predict correctly, um, which means he has to go purred on a turn where well, he goes for Z wild charge later on. But it's tough for him. Like, I feel like um, well, you has like al almost always the upper hand. Like, I don't see what well, you loses from roosting here. And Trosco is forced to switch pretty much unless he has a random hidden power fire. Exactly. And now you can just go to Toxapex or... Yeah, he's just gonna go to Toxapex. And what, what double could Trosgo make that punishes the Pex? I guess he can either try to burn it or, yeah. Like, he doesn't really have a double that punishes the Pex because the Ladi gets walled by Scissor, so doubling to Ladi doesn't do much. Also, Ladi only has like one or two more rock switch ins. But at least he gets the burn on the Pex, which is nice to cancel out the Black Slash recovery. As now, he's either gonna go to Clef or. Um, I don't know what else he would go to because the Ladi doesn't really want to come in. So there, um, there are the Toxic Spikes that only hit the Swampert and the Keldeo. But it's definitely nice for the Zygarde when it has Protect and Sub. So it can stall down the Keldeo on the Swampert later on and potentially get them in range from T-Arrows after it Dragon Dances up. As Clef is most likely going to Calm Mind here. Uh, well, he goes hard into Coco. So Z Wild Charge does not Oko this. So I guess Trosco could go for Soft Bolt here. Um, that covers well you going for U turn predicting the Pert, and that also covers the Z Wild Charge unless well he gets a max roll. Uh, and if because if Z Wild Charge doesn't kill, he could softball it up, and then Coco cannot kill the Clef unless Coco has Taunt. Uh, taunt also would have been an option there to go for. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have Taunt because Trosco's play here is either softball or switch into Swampert. So I don't think he had Taunt. I think he would have gone for Taunt if he had it. Um, I mean, there's obviously also a slight chance that he could have gone for Moonblast, but I feel like, yeah, either Softball or Hard Swamp, but it was always the play there. So now I think he's gonna pivot into Landris because the Electric Terrain is up and plus one Sunder is gonna hurt. So he doesn't wanna let his um, Pex take let a huge. Let that. He doesn't wanna let his Pex take the huge hit. As now he's just gonna spam Earthquake, I guess, with his Landris. Uh, Where's some Softballs from the Clef? Clef just Moonblast. So Trosco should just Softball here to keep the. If he breaks a U-turn, he could Moonblast again, but I think just softballing is fine because you want this Clefable healthy. As I don't know why he didn't heal his Clef. Like, he probably predicted the U-turn, maybe. So now he can go Nococo. Mm -hmm. 
He could have also gone to Heatran if he had Flash Can. I don't know if that would have killed Guaranteed. Maybe it was a roll at plus one. Yeah, I feel like Flash Can would have killed. He probably doesn't have Flash Can. Or he doesn't want to risk it. And now he can just go for Wild Charge if that kills. I actually, I don't know the Calc on that. Um, so Trosko is probably going to go to Pert or he's going to Moonblast here. I don't know, like, if he sacks his Clef, he's in a bad position. He kind of needs the Clef for the Zygarde. And it also kind of, um, it also can potentially beat the Pex if it, like, gets a Para or a Crit or something like that. So I don't think staying in is the play for Trosko. I think you go, um, yeah, I think you have to go Swampert here. As, um, I think Dwellio is going to go for Wild Charge or Z Wild Charge. I mean, he could also U-turn break in the Pert, but I think that's a bit too risky. If Wild Charge, if Raw Wild Charge non-Z kills, then that's definitely the play for Wellu. And I think it should kill, because Z Wild Charge does, um, like, has a chance to Oko. So, like, non-Z should do around half, or, like, a little bit less than half. It should definitely kill, yeah. So, Wild Charge is definitely Wellu's play, and Trosko's play is a hardened Swampert here. But overall, um, I think that Wally just wins this late game. The combination of Scissor and Pex is like super annoying for Trosgo. Uh, the Pelipper is going to get worn down by Rocks. Swampert and Keldew are going to get worn down by Toxic Spikes. And yeah, he might have Defog on Pelipper or Ladi, but it's not going to be easy to get it off. And I think Wally is in a pretty good situation here overall. As Trosgo is taking his time here, maybe he's trying to. Maybe he's calking or he's um hoping that Trost goes uh, that Value is gonna U-turn and he's trying to stay in, but I think he has to go in a Swampert. If he loses Clefable, um Zygarde destroys him because Zygarde subs up on stuff like Celesteela because Heavy Slam does not break the sub. So he does go in the Swamp, but that was his only play. And uh, that wild charge is there. So now um Value is gonna U-turn as as Swampert is most likely just gonna fire off an earthquake. Oh, he switches into okay. He switches into Celesteela, knowing that the Coco is not gonna go for electric move, knowing that it's gonna go for U-turn. Okay, and now he can go into his Zygarde and get up substitute. He can also go to uh, Pex, but I think Zygarde and getting up a sub is the play. And I guess Trosgo is gonna um, go into his Clefable here, because like Zygarde is gonna sub up. If you stay in, you lose because like I said, Heavy Slam doesn't break the sub. Heavy Slam I think does like 15% to Zygarde. Maybe 18. The Zygarde also runs some bulk investment. But it is a free sub for Will. He does not lose anything. Um, Trosko is the one who has to like make the correct play here. Uh, this, this is the problem here. Because if the Zygarde gets up Dragon then it outspeeds the Keld. And it's able to protect sub down. And then the Keld is going to be in range from T arrows. And the Pert is also almost dead. Ladi is super low. Ladi gets outsped after DD because we know it's not Scarf. Uh, Pelipper is... Probably gonna maybe Pelipper can live one plus one hit, but even then, like I don't see Trosko winning at all. I think the Zyga just wins. Like if he has sub, he should definitely click that. That's his best play, and he should just that, that, that should just end the game because the Clefable um, Moonblast only does like forty to forty forty six something like that. I think because this Zyga runs bulk investment. It's bulky Zyga with um, sub DT toxic spike support. Uh, it's a pretty disgusting strategy. <laughs> Um, one of the reasons why I use Toxapex a lot, so I can at least absorb opposing Toxic Spikes, because like Zygarde plus Toxapex is disgusting. So now Wellu is probably gonna Dragon Dance here, and Trosgo is gonna softball it. I think Wellu is gonna Dragon Dance twice to um, so he can weaken the Clefable, because the Zygarde doesn't run Max Attack, which means um, if he just T arrows, it will not do any damage. He has to Dragon Dance up to do damage to the Clef, because Clef obviously runs um, Max Defense in Sun and Moon Oyu. So he Dragon Dance is up, and I think a plus one. Um, oh, he just Moonblast. I thought he would have softballed it. That was also a fine play. Um. A plus one uh, T arrows is gonna do like maybe 38 to this cliff or maybe 40. I don't know, depends on how much attack investment the Zygarde has. If it's a really bulky one with some spadef, then T arrows is obviously gonna do nothing. But if it's like an adamant one, then it's gonna do more. Um, like there's a there's some different spreads. Like there's an adamant one with some spadef, then there's a one that's 
I think the release per dev one is not that common. I think the adamant more one is a bit more common, but I don't know. I haven't used the set often. So I think Volu is gonna um, thousand arrows or dragon dance again. And yeah, when even if the Zygarde doesn't win, weakening the Clefable, but Zygarde wins this one on one, I'm pretty sure because Moonblast does not tweet KO with leftovers and everything. So he should be able to beat Clef one on one and. So one but is super low, which means the rest of Trosco's team kind of loses to Tapu Koko, besides the Scarf Kaleo, but the Scarf Kaleo also is gonna get worn down. And he does softball, okay. And now the Zygarde is gonna attack, and this should do like maybe half the thousand arrows at plus two. And depending on the spread, if it's not max attack, like if it's more of a bulky Zygarde, then it should probably do like 48%, something like that, 46. But if it's like super attack invested, maybe it will do a bit over half. So Moonblast should do um, like 40 to 46 is my guess from the clef. As Trosco is obviously forced to Moonblast now. I think Trosco was kind of hoping that uh, Wally would protect there, which is why he softballed it. And he also obviously softballed because he needs this healthy. Because um, if the Zygarde attacked there, he would have been able to live that. So softball was a fine play, I guess. Mm -hmm. So now he's gonna um, be forced to spam Moonblast. And well, you should just start clicking Thousand Arrows because after two DDs, it should do a good amount to the clef. It should do... If it doesn't do half, it, it's gonna do like almost half. He does protect the... Uh, um, so if Trosco commanded that, it would have been potentially a bit bad for Wellyu, but it worked out fine for him. Um, so you guys can see, like, Wellyu wants to ensure that Zyga beats the Clef 101, so he protected to get extra health, so he can live two Moonblasts guaranteed, I guess. Moonblast did, no did nothing, 43, but Tiaros also did a little bit less than I expected. Um, now Wellyu is just gonna T arrows again, and it's gonna 2 hit KO the Clef. Uh, because even if Trosco softballs, the Zygarde gets leftovers back. So softball doesn't really help Trosco that much. So there's 1000 arrow spam here should be the play. And just Moonblast spam is the play for Trosco. Okay, so Clef is gonna die, um, go down here because he cannot afford to um, keep the Clef around. Um, just southern arrowing here is always the play because you don't want to protect and have him softball. Yeah, he's gonna southern arrow, he's gonna pick up the clef because the only thing that clef can heal on is on the packs. I guess he could something else like Ladi and keep the clef around to heal on the packs later on. But I think he just loses to the Zygarde right now because the combination. So he has two DDs, DDs up, which means he outspeeds even the Scarf Caldeo, I'm pretty sure. Which means he can just um, protect, sub down, protect to bring the Keldeo lower, and then it should be in range from 1000 arrows. And I think the Zygarde just wins. Uh, Pelipper dies at plus 2 after rocks. And Celestia just lets Zygarde sub up again, and also loses 2 at 1v1. Ladi gets outsped and dies, gets pretty low, and Swampert dies, and Clef dies, and Keldeo dies after some more. Okay, he does sack the Swampert. So he does keep the Clef around so he can potentially heal it on the packs later, which is understandable. But I don't think it's going to even come to that because I think the Zyga just wins. So now the Zyga just goes for Protect uh, to see what the Kelly locks itself into. And then he can calc how much plus 2000 arrows does. If it doesn't do enough, he can then sub, then he can Protect again. And after those three rounds of Poison damage, the Kelly should be guaranteed in range. Um, if it's not in range now, that is. Uh, if it's not minus defense Kaleo and the Zygarde is like more bulky and not max attack, which is obviously not max attack because it didn't do much to the Clef, then a Kaleo could potentially lift this. Um, if it's like um, Scarf Kaleo lands only minus defense if it has Stone Edge, which on this team I don't think it would have Stone Edge. So that, this could be a roll, which means um, well you can sub down here if he wants to guarantee that he kills the Kaleo. Um, so you can just sub and protect here, like I already mentioned it. And yeah, his well, you should just win with the Zygarde set. Yeah, it was, was a rough matchup for Trosco. I feel like maybe he could have um, stayed in with the Clefable on the packs to fish for a Thunder Para slash crit. Also, the trend didn't come out yet, but I assume that trend is Scarf, and because the lander showed lefties, at first I thought the lander would be Scarf. That kind of threw me off that the lander was defensive. Uh, yeah, yeah, defensive, exactly. So he does sub down, and uh, now he can protect. Kelly is getting worn down. Just protect to get some more extra health. I'm pretty sure it's 1000 arrows, but already, already killed from this range. But protecting means you get some more lefties and get some more poison damage on the Kelly. Trosco already said GG, so you guys can see he probably forfeited. 
Um, grats to Willy for the win, and I'll be back later with more tournament games. Hope you all enjoyed. Smash that like button if you want to see more. Because I think Vega just kills everything right now. Um, Pelipper should die um, after rocks. Do a plus two T arrows. Like I said, Celestia just gives it a sub. And the Clef and the Ladi are also too low. So this was super rough for Trusgo. I don't really see what he could have done different besides maybe hexing through with his Clef. So he's saying I should have he should have used standard every time I try to innovate I get under the matchups. So well you can just T arrows. I thought he would protect first. I don't think that crit mattered. I mean Coco would have won anyway. Even if the Zyga didn't win, there was a Coco in the back. And the Pax was in the back. But he needed he still needed the Coco around to beat the um, to beat the Clefable if he lost the Zygarde. Um the Clefable could have been a threat. I mean he also had a heat train for that. But if the Heatran doesn't have Flash can the Clef could have potentially brought it back if it hacks the, uh, if it hexes the packs. But I thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more content. An interesting game. I'll be back with more Smack Draft games. I'll be back with more um, like some Smogon tier games. And peace out. Have a fantastic day.